welcome back to another episode of Seasons of Chantel. And you're probably wondering, who is this gorgeous raven-haired girl? No, it's not Snow White. This We haven't changed Let's Plays. This is Chantel. I know. What? She has um, changed a little bit. But you might notice the weather outside has also changed quite a lot. So that might have something to do with it. You'll probably also notice that it's 6 a.m. Chantal's been making steps in her life, you know, and the step she's making now is that she got a job. What? No. I know, right? But Chantal has continued. <gasps> Wait a second. There's an ice skating rink outside. Oh my goodness. All right, we have to go, but not right now because she has to be at work in 30 minutes. She needs to kind of get a move on. She has to figure out what she wants to do with her career or at least get a job. The sink is broken. Oh, we're late for work too. Shoot. Um, and so she found an intern job at the hospital and we're going to go with her. Oh my gosh, we're here. Clinical orientation. Welcome Chantel Tempo to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine. Being new to the job, take some time getting familiar ugh, familiarized with the location, the people, and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time, with skill, dedication, and a passion to help her fellow Sims, Chantel will no doubt go far in her career. Um, so you'll notice that it starts off in second person and then ends in third person, but hey. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to join Chantel. Oh, you should probably not be out here in this weather. No one told you to come get a BLT. What are you doing? Well, I hit the M key, but it won't let me travel. Thank goodness. Uh, so, okay, I guess I'll let her get her morning snack. Or breakfast? Morning snack. It's breakfast. Why? There's pee on the floor by that treadmill. Anywho, you're probably wondering why Chantel, or even how Chantel decided she wanted to work at the hospital. It was just kind of something that fell into her lap. She doesn't know exactly if she does want to be a doctor, but working in the hospital, like cleaning up after people and stuff, will at least give her an idea of what it's like. She can always change her mind. Oh, grab a snack between seeing patients. I thought it said grab a snack for patients, but hey. All right, so once you're done with that, we can make coffee, and then we can come get some after we greet two coworkers. Aicha Abd al Qadir. I'm sorry. I have no idea how I'm supposed to pronounce that. I don't know what's expected of me. Um. All right, so let's just... Ooh, who, oh, you're an elder. I thought he was just, like, rocking gray hair. I feel like I don't see enough Sims with this hairstyle. We'll introduce ourselves to him too. Let's get a brew that coffee. We have done nothing useful <laughs> since we got here. Drink that coffee, girl. There's nothing wrong with you. Why are you here? What happened to your face and body? Dude. And he's like blind in one eye? What's going on with this kid? Ooh, snooping on our emails. We're not going to be examining anybody today because um, we're not qualified. We're barely, quali barely qualified to hold this cup of coffee. I'm pretty sure those are CC shoes. That's interesting. Oh, Shin, you need to go to work. Go to work. Oh my gosh, what is Heidi going to do when we move? I don't know if Chantel's going to move super soon, but... Probably within the winter time. I know. Gotcha. What are we going to do? Uh, can we, is there like something special we have to click to greet her? Talk about freezing temperature. Yeah, maybe the winter isn't the best time to start a new career because, you know, the winter is a bummer, at least for me. But, hey. Okay, stop talking to her. We're going to go get this person food. What? Whether you like it or not, it's important to introduce yourself to your coworkers. We definitely introduce ourselves to more than... Ooh, look at that. Boom. This kid wants cupcakes. I don't know if you can have cupcakes. Why are you here? Do you have a sports-related injury? I'm just guessing based on your soccer pajamas. And I wish I could be laying in bed eating food. Although not that food. It's probably gross. Mop up a puddle. Well, good thing we know where one of those is. Snap. I love how the windows are frozen because of the weather. It's so great. Mop like mad. When did you get energized? Oh, you had coffee. Can't relate. I have never... Well, 
I don't drink coffee. It's gross. Don't come for me. I I just firmly believe it's gross. And we grab another. See, look at this. This is killing me. It's like grab a snack between seeing patients. And there's a croissant. I want a croissant so bad now. You know, like a light, fluffy, buttery, little crescent of bread stuff. Like, wouldn't that be great? Is there only one bathroom? Is there really only one? What? No wonder there's pee all over the floor. Um, let's grab a snack. What kind of snack should we get? Oh, we leave in two hours. Are you kidding me? Pastry. And complain to a coworker? I don't know. Why aren't these patients leaving? No one, people are doing bad, a bad job. I'm looking at you, Maki, Maki Watanabe. Eat that pastry, Chantel. You have literally an hour and 15 minutes to finish that pastry. Kind of. We have to do other stuff. So maybe don't take your sweet time. There we go. All right, you're done. <laughs> I'll let her eat one bite. Poor thing. Poor idea. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? We need to make a bed. We need to complain to a coworker. We complain. We could complain to her. Because I'm sure she'd be all about the work sucks things and she's not doing anything. Oh, there it was. There it was. Cool. All right. Chantel. I'm proud of you. Da, 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 da. That's such a satisfying sound. Whoever picked that sound, bravo. Whichever guru, you did you did swell. I also like raise your hand if you love Chantel's new hair. Like I said, Leather, like she cut her hair so it wouldn't all fall out in her bed. And now of course it's even shorter. Living for it. Although like I kind of only like this hair mesh with the black hair. My bad. Um, chat with a patient. We could do that. We'll chat with Billy. How are you, Billy? Why won't it let me click you? Um, friendly introduction? Sure. And then we can ask her about her day and just be like, chop, chop, boom. Oh, no, we only have 15 minutes. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing, too. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I hit pause. Okay, there's that. Friendly. Ask about day. Boom. Okay. Scoop. Okay, don't talk to Billy anymore. Quick, 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 quick. You have ten minutes. <laughs> Billy's got the sass. Oh, wait. What are we doing? What are you doing? Ask about her day. Hello? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We're not going to the bathroom right now. You have... Five seconds. Chantel, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we did it in the literal last second. Oh my gosh. We earned, ooh, look at Chantel go. 188 simoleons. Oh, Chantel is eyeing that pretzel. Me too. All right, so you might notice we didn't exactly go home. Well, we did go home. But now Chantel is out with, um, Miss Shirley Poppy, uh, except the land grab's gotten between them, and they're out to celebrate Chantel's first day of work. Uh -huh. They <laughs> Shirley couldn't convince Chantel to go all the way to the city in the snow for a, to go to a cool hip bar like she likes, so they're just at the Blue Velvet, and what are you wearing? Is it, it is so cold. Oh, no. You're going to die. Um, but anyway, they are here. Hanging out, and now, like, my okay. hunger continues, and I yeah. really want some of this pretzel. Like, look at this. Oh, snap. Look at this. Holy nuts. Like, look at the pretzel. Look at the details of the salt. <sighs> my gosh. Uh, look at Chantel's little face. If she isn't, look, yes. she's everything. She's like, hello. Oh, my gosh. There's still no one to talk to, which is a bummer because, wait, is this, this is not Marcus Flex. No, it's Dominic Fires. Ugh. Um, I want her to go on a date. I want her to, like, fall in love. Who are you? Who are you? Don't we know you? See you, Gupta. Huh. Darn it! Who is this? Oh, my God. Oh, yes! This is Phoenix True. And, um, oh, where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. 
Don't think about sleep. Shirley, why are you thinking about sleep? Why are you in our group anymore? Can I form a group with you? Actually, I'll form a group with all three. Boom. Um. <laughs> a beanie shrozies. Oh my gosh. They're talking? Oh, she's talking about herself. Lame. When did Phoenix become an, a member of the Avant Garde? Okay. Let's give her a heartfelt compliment. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. Where is Shirley to be our wing woman? That, that sunshine, though. Oh, no. She gave her a heartfelt compliment. She's like, you're a ray of sunshine in this dark bar. Oh, my gosh. Let's, let's brighten her day. Are they going to sit and talk? Oh my gosh, they're sitting and talking. No, nope. Chantel, sit. Drop your booty right there in that chair. Let's go. Oh my goodness. They both love clean things and grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about the snow. Oh my gosh. Yes, her and Phoenix. Mm. Okay, let's. Oh my gosh, I feel like Chantel would deliver the most horrible pickup line. We're gonna go for it. Something really cheesy. Um, now I can't think of any pickup oh, lines. It involves hey. snow. Oh my gosh. These are oh no, it's a flower. Are... Oh my gosh. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> oh, Shirley's the third wheel now. Oh no, Shirley's getting it. Shirley's getting down. <gasps> she's feeling flirty. Oh, she's feeling flirty too. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What should we do? What should we do? Compliment her appearance, obviously. Shirley, I appreciate your confidence. Look at her. She just does not care. <gasps> Did she not like that we flirted with her? She's not a writer. Don't let her lie to you guys. Don't let her lie to you. Why does she keep talking about cleaning? Let's exchange numbers. See, Shirley always wants to go to these fancy bars and stuff in the city. Did we meet anyone there? No. Who do we meet here? Phoenix True. Ah, yes. Look at Shirley giving them the side eye. <laughs> She's like, I see what's going on there. All right, so I think I'm going to leave off here with Chantel getting to know Phoenix. And I think we'll learn a little bit more about Phoenix in the next episode. Oh, boy, do I have things to tell you about her. But until then, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think, and I will see you in the next episode of Seasons of Chantel. Bye!